Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Carpo here, back again with another Anthem video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the update 1.06 patch notes. But as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and stay up to date for more Anthem videos. Now let's get started. Now, like I said, the new update is here, and these are the patch notes. We have new features. Under Legendary Missions, allow you to replay Critical Path missions again with a much higher difficulty level. One mission will be available per day that has no limit on the number of times it can be completed. These missions offer a new challenge and require team coordination to achieve victory. Now for Elysian Caches. Earn Elysian Keys by completing daily challenges. These keys can be used on Elysian Caches which appear at the end of each stronghold after the boss is defeated to unlock vanity and crafting materials. Opening an Elysian Cache creates loot for each member. For the expedition, there are 67 unique vanity unlocks available, including vinyls, victory poses, emotes, and arrivals. You will need to get a duplicate. You will never get a duplicate vanity item. That's pretty cool. This is our first version of the rule set for Elysian Caches in the game, and we look forward to your feedback and the data we gather from your play. Now, as always, I will be leaving a link down below so you can check out these patch notes yourselves. Now, under loot changes, chests now have a chance to drop additional items and crafting material in the Stronghold Free Plan missions. Apex creatures now have a chance to drop additional loot similar to the changes made to chests. Apex creatures include Eurysix, Titan, Furies, and Luminaries. On GM1 difficulty and higher, Stronghold bosses will now drop more loot that tends at additional masterwork and legendary items. Great needed change, we'll see how it works in game. Now for NVIDIA highlights, add a support for NVIDIA highlights to capture screen shots and game clips automatically. Visiting and viewing overlooks, defeating certain large creatures, performing multi kills, defeating legendary creatures, discovering the tombs of legionnaires, performing combos when the player is down by enemies, and defeating bosses. For PC settings, added field of view sliders for various cameras in game, ground field of view, zoom field of view, flight field of view, swim field of view, and and pilot field of view. Also AFK timer. Reduce the AFK auto kick timer from 10 minutes to 5 minutes. Awesome. Nvidia DLSS support. Support for deep layer super sampling is now available on Nvidia RTX base video cards under performance. Improve performance on gameplay effects that we're updating are running often to reduce performance strain. Example effects include things like UI, weather time of day, level art, and animated props. Now for the Forge. The Forge can now be assessed via the main menu while you're in Fort Tarsus or the launch bay. There is no longer a loading screen when entering the Forge. Under Bugs and Issue Fixes, Free Play. Fix the issue where a second pilot could enter the Tomb of Legionnaire Quest before acquiring the quest. Also fix the issue where performance could potentially drop in Rescue Sentinel World events with Outlaws. Under Strongholds, Heart of Rage. Fix Party Gather that was sending players back to the previous area. Fix to fog walls blocking access to enemies, remove fog walls that could prevent the player from progressing, and fix issue where late joining players will spawn in lava and in a down state. For the Temple of Scar, fix issues with fog walls that could prevent the players from progressing. For the Tyrant of Mine, door leading underground opens when first player arrives now instead of waiting for all players to arrive, and fix the exploit where you could double loot from the Swarm Tyrant. Also, fix the issue where strongholds were disappearing from the map so they could not be selected. I know that affected me, and I'm glad that they definitely fixed that. Now, for missions. Finding old friends. Fix waypoint markers if player proceeds without collecting the relics. Imposter, remove fog where all players can get trapped. See in the dark. Fix performance on Xbox One X. We're getting close to Echo Lock. Matthias Mission. Fix pathfinding for elements that could get stuck behind the checks. Fix the issue with cinematic freezing during the third DAX mission. What freelancers do. Fix ammo deposits popping into the world. 
clarify objective text on how players can collect Corium, encourage and fix the number of voiceover issues, and fix a number of loot exploit in Matthias legendary contracts. Also under general, respawn timer no longer resets after revive party by another player is uninterrupted. For Tarsus, fix the issue where the camera went under the terrain when getting a legendary contact from Matthias. Also fix the issue where Commander Ville could appear in two locations at once. Reduce the length of time NPC glance away from player during conversation to stay more focused on the player. Loaf Hell warning now correctly states low armor. Fix gram grammatical issues. In the Legion of Dawn Library Edition, the first cipher journal entry has been moved to the cipher section. Audio, cancel audio when the player cancels out of launching an expedition. Under gear ability, fix text for several masterwork items that cause incorrect values for ultimate charges. The functionality has not changed. Ranger, frag grenade, interceptor, venom spray, you know. They also have fixed text in the forge where statistic bars for gear was showing as status when it should stay effect. Acid, ice, fire, and electric effects. Fix the issue where the spark beam visually would not be present when turning away from the players using it, and also fix Master War gear so they now progress in the uncommon, rare, and epic challenges of that gear. For Javelin Components, the Mark of Ruin and Amulet of Winter Storm <laughs> the Mark of Ruin and Amulet of Winter Storm Masterworks components should now correctly be applied to their respective bonuses, have their correct text and icons, and should be functional. Fix the issue with a Mark of Clarity Storm component showing a zero second cooldown now correctly shows one second. Fix text for Interceptor Double Edge Inscription component to be more clear on effects. Increase all damages by base and reduce the damages by the base. Fix text for several masterwork items causing incorrect values for ultimate charge and functionality has not been changed the badge of devastation and the emblem of destruction components also fix the issue where the uh, albeit shielding masterwork colossus component was not correctly granting the additional armor and shields noted in the text this is updated on the player stats but may not be resolved for the ui stat bar for the component under weapons fix statistic bar for weapons in Forge UI where magazine size was incorrectly labeled click size. Fix the error where the Thunderbolt of Yuvenia's lightning damage was scaling correctly for the Storm Javelin. Fix text for Arthena's Gambit, Mathworks Relentless LMG to be more informative of effect. Upgraded Relentless Best Balance Gun in the class. Detonates a combo explosion on prime target in the area up on reloading. Now under Javelins. Adjusted in error with secondary player damage, scaling combo status effects, ultimate melees with unequipped item slots were not identified correctly for damage scaling. Fix the issue where ultimate charges, 20 charges, wasn't correctly being awarded to players when receiving a down teammate. Fix the issue where weak point hits trigger were unintentionally countered when hitting enemy shields. Fix the issue where the amount of armor segment to plays on the player HUD was incorrectly when compared to the actual armor values. And also fix the issue where players could load into an expedition without having all of the inscription bonuses properly loaded. Fix the problem where a player could be more easily killed through shields and armor when first entering the game for the first time on a new client build. Fix the issue where swapping weapons at the start of the storm ultimate give you a full heal without using the ultimate charge. Creatures. Fix the issue where the lightning effects and abilities will leave a shader effect on the creatures unintentionally. Fix the issue where defeating creatures will sometimes go back into idle ragdoll position unintentionally. Additionally, reduction and turning of tuning of health of the monitor's boss fight and the heart of rage a stronghold under inscriptions. Corrected several inscriptions where the magazine was referred to as a clip. The hip fire inscription bonus will no longer be applied to sniper rifles. The support luck inscription has had its text changed to X amount of luck. The weapon reduction stat inscription was not correctly applied to player's weapon and has been corrected. Fix text on the blast damage inscription so that it no longer includes weep in the text more clearly. And the text for the shield refresh and shield delay inscription were correctly swapped on items that have been corrected. The shield delay increases the speed at which your shield recharges. The shield refresh reduces the time between when your shield breaks and when it starts regening. The X amount of pistol inscriptions have been updated and now specifically resting the heavy pistol X amount of heavy pistol ammo. Under other, fix the issue of fix the number of issues that could cause the game to crash. Players can now junk items much faster in the vault. Daily, weekly, and monthly interaction points now directly link the player to the card text entry. Fix the number of issues that will cause players to be unable to interact with objects or players. 
match consumables now sort by rarity than alphabetically. Quick play instances will no longer be allowed to spawn into missions older than 15 minutes. Fix the issue where a small number of players could not craft items that will continue to receive common white and uncommon green drops after hitting level 30. Now for other features, masterwork changes. Double the rate at which masterwork gear with multiple charges restrain charges. We have the Ranger, Venom Darts, Colossus Roga, Interceptor Cluster Mine, Storm Ice Storm, and Storm's Ball Lightning. Also fix several exploits related to the masterwork and legendary drops that were allowing unintended drop rates when players was down. Added a new audio f effect for when masterwork legend drops, masterwork and legendary items drop in game. Now for the javelin changes. For the Colossus, Colossus Component Abating Shield increased buffs from 40% for 6 seconds, improved the Grand Entrance ability to reliable trigger on heavy impacts and air melee slams, reinforced hull, increased buff to 33%, shock treatment was hitting enemies with ordnance launcher ability, temporary lowers thruster heat build up by 30% for 5 seconds. Now taking damages increases all damage by 8% for 10 seconds, stacking to 10, pretty cool. Saltwater Badge was on Shield Break, increases all ability damage by 40% for 5 seconds. Now, hit with the melee status effect, increases all gear damage by 40% for 10 seconds. Synchronized Frame, change the hitting an enemy for defeating an enemy, Colossus Gear. Fist of the Crucible was Victor Advantage, defeating an enemy, increases flamethrower damage by 30% for 10 seconds, stacking to 5. Now, Striker Advantage, hitting an enemy, increases flamethrower damage by 12%. For 10 seconds, stacking to 10. A little bit of a difference right there. All right, best defense increased base damage by 25%. Black powder increased base damage by 25%. Solvent green increased base damage by 40%. Whoa! Titan's Hall upgraded burst mortar special shells burst across a wide area. Burst mortars can now trigger explosive combos. Upgrading both burst, burst mortar special shells burst across wide area, creating a large physical explosion for each enemy hit. Now for the interceptor components, survival algorithm increased from 40% for 10 seconds from 20% to 10 seconds. Increase the talisman of power from 60 seconds, 60% for 10 seconds from 50. 50% for 5 seconds. Conductive lattice was performing a small melee hit. 3. Detonates an electrical explosion. Now melee hits detonate an electrical explosion can, can occur every 2 seconds. Under Vengeance and Matrix, all damage is increased by 25% for 5 seconds. Before, on low armor, damage taken is reduced by 50% for 10 seconds. Well, that's what it is now. Alright, the way of salvage increased to 40% for 10 seconds from 40% to 5 seconds. Way of Swiss increased to 60% for 10 seconds from 50% for 5 seconds. Way of the Bow increased from 40% armor to sword from 20%. Way of Integration increased to 30% from 10 seconds from 30% for 5 seconds under Interception Gear. Carav's Talent increased base kick damage by 200%. Remove cooldown increased to 50% armor restored. Rainer's Charge increased base damage by 25%. Serpent's Veil increased base damage by 35%. Shadow Call, Ray Strike, and Slew Recharges with a small kill streak too. Now, launches two Wraith Projectiles that seek enemies. Absolute Zero, remove uh, requirement for being above target, increases explosive damage. Now for the Ranger, that's a lot for the Ranger. We have Ranger components. Tactical Advantage was increasing heat uh, threshold Max stamina by 35%, weak points hit lower thrust heat build up by 10% for 5 seconds. Follow with me, you can always check these out yourself, I'm reading it word for word. Now increases engine heat threshold, max stamina by 50%, weak points hit lower thrust heat build up by 80% for 10 seconds. Badger devastation, um, I'll just give you the increase now. Increases assault launcher by 30%, performing a large history 10 will instantly add. 3% ultimate charge for Victor Resolve increases blast damage by 50% and decreases impact by 20%. Performing a small multi hit 2 restores 25% armor. Second Wind, which was called Defensive Bulwark, now increases all gun damage by 25% on low health and increases gun damage by 60% for 10 seconds. Elemental Ops increases fire damage by max heat capacity by 50% and fire resistance by 50% on a hit streak and applies acid on the target. You need a 
five uh, hit streak for that. Combined arms increase grenade damage by 30%. Hitting enemy with assault launcher gear increases grenade gear damage by 60% for 10 seconds. Airborne advantage increases impact damage by 50% and decreases blast damage by 20%. Hovering increases all resistance by 25%. Tip of the spear increases combo damage by 60%. Performer combo reduces, I mean, restores 40% armor to nearby allies. General favor increases grenade damage, recharge, uh, excuse me, increases grenade recharge charged by 40%. Hitting an enemy with the melee increases grenade damage by 45% for 10 seconds. Vanguard's bat increases the melee damage by 40% and an electric effects by 40%. Performing a melee hit restores 40% shields. For the ranger's gear, aggro's mace increased bed damage by 25%. Avenger's boon increased, uh, increased melee damage by 210% for 20 seconds. Wow, this dude is getting a major buff. Uh, Cold-blooded changing uh, to one hit increases melee damage by 235% for 10 seconds. Dude, Ember's Land increases the explosion damage. Explosive Blade change to one hit and remove cooldown. Uh, grand Opening, uh, upgraded Seeker Grenade splits into Seeking Sub Munitions. Striker Fury hitting enemies grant 60% increased weapon damage for 20%. Reoccurring Vengeance, Upgraded Seeker Missiles, Combo Effect, Impact Detonating, a Combo Grants 100% Charge, and the Gambit, Increased Damage for Ice Explosion. Now for the Storm Components, Amulet of Winter, Increases 30% Damage for 20, 20 Seconds, Mark of Clarity, Increased to 40% Armor Restore with no cooldown, um, Mark of Ruin, Increases Fire Damage and Effect, After Applying a Status Effect, Increases Fire Damage by 50% for 10 Seconds. Mark of Wraith increases gear damage and lowers gear recharge rate. Detonating a combo causes large electrical explosions. Now for Token of the Daring. Increases elemental damage and decreases physical damage on shield break. Instantly recharge our gear. Token of Master increases 60% for 10 seconds. Token of Pupa increases 60% for 10 seconds. Toma of Precision increases electrical damage and electrical effect. Defeating an enemy increases elemental damage by 40% for 10 seconds. Vanguard Token increases to 40% for 10 seconds and here for the storm gear hell of storm renewal remove requirement for being above target increases base damage by 25 percent seal of the open mind remove requirement for being above target now permanently has two charges venomous blade increases base damage by 50 percent changes from every third hit to every third consecutive hit renter wraith increases base damage of charges and recharge rate 10,000 suns Upgraded Burning Orb, Combo Effect Chain, Striker's Wrath, after hitting an enemy gain 10% increased damage for 10 seconds, stacking to 10. Black Ice, change to hitting an enemy freezes knee by creatures, was defeating an enemy, note, must sustain the beam of on a constant creature for the duration of the ability. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we're almost done here, fellas. Under Inscriptions, as part of our effort to improve inscription ease of use, all inscription values have the plus and minus value at the beginning of the state line rather than after any text. And then they have the example. Under components, ranger basic components, crossed arms basic ranger component now increases blast damage by 35% and reduces impact damage by 15%. Thermal regulator basic ranger component now increases fire, fire damage and max heat capacity by 25%. Grenade augment basic ranger component now increases grenade damage by 15%. Convergent core basic ranger component now reduces blast damage by 50%. Grenade inscription basic ranger component now correctly reduces cooldown of ranger grenades and text it updates to reflects this grenade grenadier inscription basic ranger component was reduced from 35 percent cooldown reduction to 30 percent cooldown reduction sorry i was pronouncing that wrong now under universal components the special arms ammo component now only affects heavy pistol and grenade launchers the machine pistol ammo component now also affects auto cannons and the name has been changed to rapid arms now for previously added universal components with patch 1.03 symbiotic charge increases javelin orange by a large amount Increases all damage by 50% for 10 seconds when picking up our repair pack. Softened blows increases javelin shield by a large amount. Increases damage resistance by 75% for 5%.
five seconds when shield runs out. Thermal cooling increases the damage heat capacity to allow the javelin to fly more effectively and reduces the time you stay overheated significantly. For rejuvenating ammo, increases reserve ammo for all equipped guns, replenishing ammo armor excuse me, by 20% when picking up an ammo pack. Emergency power in inscribed component that augments javelins ultimate gear and increases damage. Ultimate meter refills instantly when armor is charged damaged, critically damaged, can occur once every 120 seconds. Also added new universal masterwork components with patch 1.04. We have one called Bloodlust, an inscription component that increases melee weapon damage and increases melee damage by 75% for 10 seconds when killing the enemy by using melee definitely for the interceptor. Acid Slug added specialized storage for enhanced shotgun ammunition and increases damage. Hitting seven shotgun shots in a single burst applies acid on the target. Pretty cool. Giant Slayer adds specialized storage for enhanced marksman rifle ammunition and increased damage. Increased weak point by 50% after a consecutive marksman rifle hit of five. Focus Read adds special storage for enhanced light machine gun ammunition increases damage on consecutive uh, LMG hits. That's uh, 10 hits. And these shots freezes the targets and feedback loop adds specialization storage for enhanced assault rifle ammunition and increases damage. Increased damage resistance by 50% for 10 seconds when firing the last shot and was an assault rifle magazine. Under gear, updated interceptor race strike gear text to match the following functionality. Interceptor projects a ghost of itself that can warp up to X amount of targets. Active ores apply to all target structs. Under weapons, reduce the weapon's reload time by speeding up the reload ammunition for the Colossus heavy weapons, auto cannon, and grenade launchers. And last but not least, we have javelins. Interceptor melees can now execute multiple melee attacks with a single hail input. Interceptor can now detonate combos even if they have an aura currently active. This allows the interceptor to detonate the combo to do extra combo damage without having to wait for the aura to expire. In addition, detonating a combo will refresh the duration of the currently active aura. For example, if you have ice ore and you have detonated a creature primed with acid, it will refresh the duration of your ice ore. Increase the max uh, stamina thruster meter for all javelins by 20%. Cool. Reduce the base overhaul duration for all javelins by 20%. Cool. Fire status effect on players no longer instantly overheats the javelin, but instantly starts to quickly build up until overheating. Also add a new audio for thrusters failing to ignite when frozen by an enemy creature. Improve audio notification when javelin ultimate ability is ready. And also added the ability to enter hover underwater. So those are all of the patch notes that we have. The new update is here. It is a ton of patch notes. Like I said, I'm leaving a link down below so you can check all these out yourself. And uh, it's just a ton of changes. The Rangers definitely getting a buff. As a matter of fact, everybody got a buff. Hopefully the loot is just raining down right now. I cannot wait to get on the sticks. So that's pretty much going to end it for this video. Thank you for everybody for all your love and support. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification. And stay up to date for more Anthem videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.